Cancer placements, let's do you. A reading. <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> let's start. Let's see what is surrounding you, what is around you, what is in your energy. Let's see. <laughs> I just heard someone that is pretending. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I just got that there is someone that did a cord cutting on you. You know, it's so funny because someone here thinks that you're doing some magic on them or I mean, I don't know if you are or not, but they feel like you put a spell on them and they need to kind of like counterattack it. So they did cord cutting or maybe they consulted with someone that did cord cutting because they feel like you're doing something that is influencing them. Putting a spell on them or something. Because they feel your energy very heavily that they think you did something. This person thinks that you took their power or stealing their power or have access to their power. They think you put like some type of love spell on them. And this is why they can't resist you or they can't, they can't get rid of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening here? Someone thinks that you did spell work or that you, you know, you're, you're trying to manipulate or control them. And it's from a distance. I, I don't feel like this is someone that you're with. It's more like someone that you're separated from and thinks that you're doing spell work. Okay. They think it's it's because you want to be with them or because you want what they have. And this person is doing cord cutting they're saging their place. Even if this person is not really into spirituality, I feel like they could have researched it or they could have stumbled upon a tarot reading or stumbled upon um, like uh, witchcraft, whatever, or spell work. And they're like, oh shit, that's probably what cancer is doing. So I should, you know, look this up. I'm going to research and see how I can counter attack. You got this person fucked up. They think that you're messing with their energy. <sighs> you know, this person thinks that you are obsessed with them. Even when you're pretending. And it's interesting I said even when you're pretending. So they think that you're pretending to not be interested or pretending that you're not bothered or pretending that you don't want them, but they think you're pretending. So it's like, yeah, I can see Cancer is acting like they don't care, but I know they care. I know they're trying to get at me or I know they're trying to get with me. <laughs> it's kind of funny, actually. I mean, here's the thing. Are you messing with them, Cancer? Or is this person kind of like imagining things? Because, <laughs> poor thing. <laughs> oh, 
this person is like, oh, I need to research how to do cord cutting or oh, I'm going to pay someone to do cord cutting for me because they think you're, you're doing that to them. It's like you're messing with them. <laughs> oh my God. You know, cross watcher or not, no one can mess with your energy unless you accept it as the truth. No one can mess with your energy unless you accept it as a true statement. So even if you are doing spell work or whatever else that you're doing, that you could be doing cancer, this person made it true by believing it or by realizing it or by associating with it. And the fact that they are doing counterattack is actually making the spell work work. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever whoever is watching this whenever you are afraid someone is doing spell work on you or if you think that you should counter attack it you allow them access no one can have permission to your energy unless you allow it so if you feel like a weird energy coming your way don't try to investigate and try to figure out who it is just reject the energy that you do not like just uh, don't give it the power, you know, and that's it. And that's all you have to do. Like, yes, you can sage the place because it helps with the ritual of your mentality. You know, when you do like, and uh, when you uh, kind of like combine mental, uh, mental thought plus a physical action, it kind of strengthens the mental thought. So, for example, you reject the energy and sage your place, it will kind of like strengthen that mental thought about you rejecting the energy. The same way that when you speak, when you say words like, I rebuke it, I refuse it, that strengthens your refusal of it. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, the, the fact that this person thinks that you're messing with them, and they're, they're having to do something to counter attack it is actually accepting it because you're not supposed to fight fire with fire you're supposed to be like there is no fire in my fucking house get the fuck out that's it that's all you have to do it's not that complicated when you feel a certain energy whether it's coming from yourself or from others just transmute it. That's it. You don't have to accept it and believe it and make it like a like a, a lifestyle or a way of living or you don't have to resent it. We have people running around. Maybe this person is panicking. Maybe they're fucking running around like an idiot and they're like Oh my god, I need to I need to protect my space, I need to protect myself, I need to ah uh, everything bad that's happening in my life is because of cancer is doing spell work on me. Or everything that is uh, that is happening in my thought is because of cancer putting these thoughts in my head. They're freaking out. They're freaking they're freaking they're freaking out. Hang on. Wow, you know well, the, this person's pro this person's problem is that they actually have feelings for you, but they're blaming you, manipulating them into having those feelings for you. Riddle me that. So they actually think that oh, it's because of your spell work or it's because of your manipulation. They actually have feelings for you. They don't actually have feelings for you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So they're blaming you for having feelings for you. It's almost like this person doesn't want to admit that they have feelings for you and it's not them that has the feelings for you, but rather you putting those feelings in them. What? Is this person okay? <laughs> <laughs> are they okay or are they cuckoo? Do 
in a way, they don't want to acknowledge that those feelings are genuine and that, uh, that these feelings are coming from them. They think those feelings were put there. Sneakily. The fuck is this person on? Maybe this person doesn't know what love is. And they are and they are experiencing it for the first time. And they're kind of like, ooh, it must be a spell work. Ooh, it must be like something dodgy. Okay then. Hang on. Because they think like, it's like, I see that they have feelings for you, but they think it's like impossible or they think like it's suspicious to have those feelings for you. And they're like, oh, cancer must did something to me. Yeah, it's called love. You love them. The fuck? You know, I don't know why I feel like this person is easily influenced. Maybe this, they saw something and they thought, oh, that's exactly what's happening to me. Cancer is doing that to me. That's why I feel like this. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if they were the type of person that will watch uh, a general tarot reading and think everything, every, every general tarot reading is for them. I wouldn't be surprised. Because you know how many times I have to deal with those types of people? Like they think the world revolves around them and anything they see online, they believe. Now there's nothing wrong with a general reading resonating with you, but, but for it to resonate with you every time, you're delusional. What's that? There's no way but. Because when, when people are easily influenced like that, they are not really operating in their authentic self. And when you have a person that is kind of always blaming and looking for answers outside of themselves, they end up not knowing what, who they really are, what is real, what is not. They don't have the discernment. So this person is the Lolo. Now, let me see, let me see if you are actually doing things to influence this person. You could be telepathically calling this person's energy cancer, and this person thinks that you're putting spells on them. I don't, I don't really see you as doing spell work. It's more like... It's more like sending energetically or sending your energy to them. Hang on. So you could be you could be just like thinking of this person and this person thinks that you're doing spells on their ass. Now here's the thing, if you are a cancer that is doing spells, I don't feel like this is you. Because I feel like it it, it doesn't feel it, like I do see you reminiscing on this person. I do see you thinking of this person. I see you possibly telepathically calling this person's energy, but it doesn't feel like you're actually doing spell work. You know, like people imagine it. It's like you and your witch pot stirring and saying, like, ooh, potions and shit. I don't see that, you know, I don't see that. So, I feel like this person has feelings for you and they don't know what to do with that. Maybe this person never experienced true feelings or true love and they're freaking out because they are thinking that you have control over them or that you have access to their energy in a way where it makes them feel a little uncomfortable. You know? They feel strong feelings for you. And it's, and it's kind of making them suspicious. It's like they're freaking out. Look. They're freaking out. It's like, I don't want it. 
They think it's like there was foul play and they think there was something wrong. And they're just in love. <laughs> to this person, being in love is, is scary or they never experienced it or... It's like they think it's demonic, I don't know, man. Like this person is a little bit wakadudu. I don't know what that word is, I just made it up. Um, so they they are kind of like not really in touch with deep feelings, deep emotions. And I feel like, I don't know, it feels like maybe this is the first time that they have truly experienced true love. Or they don't know what true love is. This is why they suspect like foul play or spell work involved. When really it's just them being in love with you. You know what I mean? Isn't this gorgeous? Pyrite. It's cute. So... Cancer, <laughs> the fuck you doing with this person? Because I don't know, man. Like it feels. I mean, I'm not judging. You can you can love a fool if you want. In fact, sometimes uh, you can't help it, right? But we have a fool here that thinks that they're being manipulated into loving you. <laughs> You know, it's kind of funny for me. Like, the fuck? How old are you? Have you never experienced love before? Are you okay in the head? But that's what's happening in your energy. Someone here thinks that you're doing spell work when really they're just fucking in love with you. And they're freaking out because they, they have these feelings and they're like, oh my god. I'm gonna lose control. But that's what falling in love does. It's like he feels like it's out of your control. You can't sleep, you can't think straight, you can't eat properly or eat too much. And this person thinks that you're doing something to cause it. I mean, the only thing that's causing it is that the fact is that's you that they are in love with. That's your crime, that you exist, that you happen to be the one that they fell in love with. That's your crime, that's it. Anyways, it's probably another message, hopefully not as weird as this one. And by the way, like, the reason why I pull a couple of messages because I want to be inclusive, because my readings can be specifics. I don't generalize them. I try, but most of the time, what I get is specific scenarios, specific energies. So if it's not your reading, if the first message is not your reading, the second message hopefully is. If both messages are not your reading, just wait for the next reading, cancer reading, you know, doesn't have to be deep. Uh, you know, you, you don't have to resonate with everything that I say. In fact, if you do, I will consider you stupid. Okay? So, let's play another message, Cancer. Let's see. We have an X here. <laughs> you visit this person's dreams. They dream about you. They dream about being with you and fixing things between the two of you. It's almost like this person's subconscious mind is creating dreams for them to have this wish fulfillment of reuniting where everything is has worked out and everything that, you know, between the two of you is 
you know, it's it's not complicated anymore or you've worked through your differences or, you know, there is no conflict anymore. So they're dreaming about that. And, you know, sometimes the, the subconscious likes to do that in order to give people the, the fulfillment of what is not being fulfilled in the waking state or in the awake state. So this person is dreaming about you being together, there is no conflict, you know, there is no drama. Let's take this to the extended and see where it goes. That is the energy we have here. The extended reading for Cancer will be below. I'll see you there.